G'day and welcome to 4x4 Adventure Club. I'm your host JB and today we're at another thong. We're going to start off on uh, Strickland Spur Track, uh, move across to Anderson Spur Track and then hopefully tackle uh, uh, Devil's Stair Track. These are all around, as I said, the Narbathong Marysville area and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have a good day. Claim that title? Yeah, I think. Yeah, for sure. For sure. The only problem is, is that you're going to have to start learning how to cook other than sausages. Chicken bread. You know I can cook more than a sausage in bread. You've eaten my hamburger. You've got to get the sausages right before he gets onto anything else. <laughs> well, it's always good to have a plan. What do you think, sausage man? See, this is the things he hasn't learned. Oh, man. He goes, the ones, they're cooking faster in the middle. Well, that would be obvious. The flame is in the middle. See? You're not quite ready for my kitchen rules yet, mate. Soon. snatch block under the side of his car and hopefully pull him sideways if that makes sense back over the the hump that's under underneath the water why couldn't you just snatch him backwards because uh, he's bottom right out in the middle of the belly of his car and I think uh, we'll just keep sliding over because that 
middle trench is uh, soft as all buggery. Over. <laughs> <laughs> On top of the what? It's going to be too long as well. I'm not going to get enough pull between the. Has that got a pillar there that will stop it sliding? Yeah, it's in between yeah. two. Yep. Oh, I'll take up the slack. I'm going to get on. Take the slack. Yeah, come up. Are you around a big tree? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now yeah, I'm going in. I need another car to anchor me from the back. <laughs> Who's next? Me. Uh, You're going in, eh? Well, I reckon once he's straight and maybe put on a strap in there and very slowly what we'll do is I'll keep the tension on the winch yep. and drag him forward. Yeah, because the strap comes around the angle or keep it up. Yeah. Just keep on the power on the winch. But yeah, like nothing too quick, just you know, nice and slow. Up to the hook. Well, hasn't this been a bit of a fun bog hole? So hopefully, we're trying to do everything as safely as possible. We've got the strap going to a tree under the side of Gian's car to try to bring his car back over the hump. We've gotten to a point now where we can't go any further that way, so we're going to do the same again with the front to bring his front over that way. And then hopefully from there, um, we'll get him up because uh, I don't know if he's getting water in his car or not. He is. He is. Um, but yeah. yeah, wrong line, that's all I can say. Yeah, seeing the handbrake doesn't work very well. So you always need someone on the foot brake when you're winching anyway. Especially when you're stuck in mud, so it creates a suction. So, you know, from a two, two and a half ton car to being stuck on top of a, a mud ridge, you're probably pulling what, four to six ton? Done. Double it. So double it. And yeah, it's just the angle he's on, which is the uh, which is the problem. Uh, but you live and learn. So we all know, not that we would have gone that way anyway. Yeah. Hard left, and you would be in the two normal ruts instead of the one that he's in and the real deep one. So, but all good. What tracks is? This is the start of uh, Anderson Spur Track. And we've gotten in about, oh, what, 100 metres? So, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll be out of here in another 10, 15 minutes and we'll just be a bit more wary of the bog holes. Tell you what. 
right. It's good to be out. <laughs> Hi guys. Today we're just uh, fitting a uh, suspension kit to the uh, 90 series Prado behind us. Uh, one of the main reasons why people fit suspension kits is uh, to gain extra clearance from the road, also to fit bigger things, uh, bigger tyres and things like that to their car as well. Um, the other thing is that um, load carrying capacity uh, is a lot greater on a uh, suspension kit than that as well when you fit one up. So you can, you can load up and set up your vehicle for draw systems, winches, bull bars, things like that as well. You just have a look here at the, at the standard shop. You see here that the standard shock is, uh, is so much smaller than the, uh, than the upgraded shock absorber. It carries a lot more oil, a lot more travel in a suspension kit than that as well. The other thing is in the springs, uh, the actual thickness of the coils and that are much greater as well. So not only is it going to give you a lift, to give you that clearance, it's also going to give you a bit more articulation, which keeps your wheels on the ground and gives you a bit more traction. Um, but also the upgraded spring rate is going to uh, be better, much better for load carrying capacity as well. That's it, Adam here, and catch you out in the tracks. Okay, well we're about, I don't know, a quarter of the way up Anderson Spur Track and unfortunately uh, my car's done a major oil leak. So. Uh, Unfortunately, I'm going to have to turn around, head back down to Narbathong, and then uh, make my way, way home. But uh, the rest of the guys are going to continue on. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'll have my car sorted for the next episode. But uh, yeah, hopefully, all, uh, all is well for everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of oil down here. You want a better foothold? Ah, that's good. It's only taken me four years to actually have the car have to make myself turn around, possibly. So, what do you reckon you've done? I have no idea because I'm not a mechanic. What do you reckon he's done? Well, the consensus is, or the general feeling is, it's a harmonic balancer seal. So I'm guessing 
Which doesn't sound very harmonious. Yeah, Does that mean end the day or? Have you got a email or something? Um, tow home? Not a tow home, but keep checking the oil. Um, I'd check the oil at Narby, see how it looks. If it hasn't dropped, I'll give you some before you go. So, is there a servo at Narby? There isn't. Well, I don't know. You got diesel oil though? No. Yeah, so, so yeah, um, Josh would. Josh diesel, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you'll get home. Could get a bit smoky for the people behind you, but that, just tell them it's when you put your foot on the gas. Yeah, it's diesel. It's man. just more constant. <laughs> just might not be that traditional black colour from acceleration. What are you two cameramen doing? Who's going to take you guys home then? Yeah, you will? All right. Soft landing. I'll take it easy now. It'll only be a bit wet. Well, you were taking it easy then. You just didn't follow the basic go left. See, there's centre. Left. There's left. There's right. Left. Then there's <laughs> centre left. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to risk keep going anyway. Give Adam a call and get him to sort it out. Go through that bog hole through the middle. <laughs> get stuck by myself, that's just what we need. First up, I'd like to thank everyone who's come past the 4x4 Adventure Club site here at the Explore Australia Expo 2015. Hopefully you stuck around and watched our pilot episode for our upcoming TV debut on Channel 31, 4x4 Adventure Club. If you have enjoyed what you've seen, please check us out on our Facebook page and check us out on our webpage and tell us what you think. I'm your host JB, hope to see you out in the tracks.